All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a test that you've made in DMAC and copy and paste it to your web page so that the students can get on a computer and take the test instead of you having to make all the copies um, and pass them out and keep up with them. You can just have it on your website and the kids can just go to a computer and take the test. Uh, now they're still going to have to fill out a Scantron or an answer sheet because DMAC doesn't have that option available yet where they can select the correct answer and submit it and it go to you. Okay, so what you're going to do first is we are going to create a new page. This is my science page. I want to create a new page. Okay, I'm going to name this science test. Okay, I'm going to click create. Okay, so this is my page that I'm going to paste my DMAC science test. Okay, so you're going to go to DMAC and find the test that you want to put on there. So say I want to use this first nine weeks science test grade two. Okay, you're going to click preview and then this is going to pop up. Okay, you're going to highlight the whole thing, right click copy, and now you're going to go back over to your web page where you have the science test pulled up and you're going to right click paste. Okay, and now your entire test is there with the pictures and clip art and everything. Okay, be sure to click save. Okay, and now it's over here under your home. Okay, so when students go to your page, they just come over here and click science test. And there it is. You can also, if you have like a to-do list on your home page, um, you can put a link directly to it. So I'm going to show you how to put a link within your sites page. So instead of... Um, doing like a hyperlink and copying and pasting a website, we're going to link it to this right here. Okay, so if here you put take the science test, then go to brain pop. Okay, right here is where I want to put the link, okay, to this page. So I'm going to hyperlink it. And instead of, before we were just going and putting the web address, instead we're going to do sites page, and you can click the one that you want it to go to. Save. So now they can just click here, and it will take them directly to it. Or they could have clicked over here. Okay. And that's all. Just make sure it's saved, and then... Uh, they'll always be able to go to it. Now, whenever the test is over or you don't want them to be able to access this anymore, you just go to settings and delete page. So I'm going to delete. And it'll say, are you sure? Because it can't be undone. Yes, you want to delete it. Okay, so now it's no longer over here. And then if they were to try to click on that, it's going to say it was deleted and they can't get back to it. Okay, they won't be able to recover page. Just I can because I'm signed in as the... Um, owner of this page, but it will just say it's deleted and they can't get to it.